Um, and then he, then he says, this, and this is the logic of, of at least some of the popular renditions of, of the argument of what's wrong with deflation. Why buy anything today if it's going to be cheaper next week? That's the argument. That if prices are falling, no one will buy. Because you'll say, oh, look, I'm not going to have a cup of coffee this morning because I bet tomorrow it'll be five cents cheaper. <laughs> and then tomorrow will come and you say, well, the coffee people think I must be some kind of a sucker. It's going to be five cents cheaper tomorrow. Like eventually you're going to break down and say, on the other hand, time preference exists and I prefer goods in the present to, goods at the, to the same good in the future. I'm going to break down and buy that cup of coffee. In the same way that you buy a laptop, even though you know that a year from now you're going to feel like a sucker because they're cheaper and they're better and whatever. But at some point, you need the laptop. But in this version of the argument, none of us are going to buy anything until we're on our deathbeds and then we'll finally grab an iPod just as we're expiring. <laughs> it's not how people act. <laughs>